Hi guys, I'm Phil Snow, the Fat Loss and Performance Coach here at Meta Evolution Gym in Chatham. So uh, today's video then is all about reviewing our tasks, okay? So uh, at the beginning of any consultation here uh, with any of our clients, we go through a consultation process and a coaching process for the first uh, month or so and going onwards obviously. But what we want to find is what the ultimate goal is, okay? And then we chunk those goals down uh, into smaller achievable bite-sized goals, i.e. monthly assessments. Now, when we set the goals, uh, we sit down together and agree what is going to be accomplished and what tasks we are going to complete to achieve said goal for that month. Then when we get to uh, point B, i.e. The, the second assessment to see how the person's got on, that's when we do a bit of review to see what's gone right, what's gone wrong. And what we typically find is the task has gone one of three ways. One, uh, the person's failed to completely even attempt the task, okay? Two, they carried out the task but were very unsuccessful. Or three, they carried out the t task and were very successful in what they were looking to achieve. So for instance, fat loss, they would see fat weight loss, okay? So if we've uh, failed to um, carry out the action, then we've got to review what was wrong, okay? Obviously, if we didn't have, attempt it, it's because one, there's probably some fear, phobia, or disbelief that we didn't think we could actually achieve the goal in the first place, so we didn't even attempt it because we was already demotivated, okay? It could have been that like, the habits weren't ingrained uh, sufficiently, um, you might have forgot to do something. So remember, um, doing anything is based on habits, and there's another video out there on that. Um, anyway, so we want to find out and learn what's happened, okay? Uh, what, why didn't you do it? Is it because you, there was a fear, there was an anxiety about uh, completing the said task or what? And then we want to kind of work on what did we learn from that, okay? We probably learned that it's no good being afraid of attempting something. It's no good being afraid of going to the gym if your goal is weight loss. It's no good being afraid going out on the street and doing some walks or something like that to help burn some body fat, all right? So what did you learn from not succeeding? So then we've got to ask the question, are you really uh, committed to achieving your goal? Well, if we use a scale of one to 10, so one being, yeah, we're well, not really committed, or 10, yeah, I'm really excited, I'm really dead on this, I will achieve it, I will do it. Well then, that's the kind of stuff I want to hear. If someone says, oh, I will try, yeah, ugh, I know they're not gonna even attempt that. All right, it's a cop-out word. As soon as I hear try, I know that I'm not gonna achieve that goal, okay? So think about the language that you're using on yourself, okay? And ultimately, what we wanna do is do it better next time, okay? So that's the, the first route it could go. So the second route then is you carried out a task, but it wasn't uh, giving us a satisfactory result that we wanted, okay? So you started going to the gym, you started eating better, for instance, but we still didn't get the fat loss that we were after in the first place. So what did we learn from that? Well, we went to the gym, but it could be, I don't know, that we weren't working hard enough, or uh, we went to the gym, but we were still eating a load of crap, or too many, uh, too much energy uh, that was not creating a deficit. We was piling on too much energy uh, compared to the amount of energy that we was expending. Okay, so how does that make us feel? Well, obviously it's gonna make us feel disappointed. We're putting all that effort Okay, but didn't get the, uh, the, the reward of fat loss, okay? So we don't like holding on to that feeling. So what we need to do is redesign the task, okay? So, okay, so going to the gym, that's great. Okay, so this time let's change the program, let's push a little bit harder, but let's concentrate a little bit on the food a little bit more this month, shall we? Okay, and then let's go for another attempt and then go and do the new task, all right? So don't beat yourself up just because you didn't achieve it first time. Learn from it, evaluate, reassess, replan, and go forward, all right? The third way it could have gone is that you carried out the task and you got a good result. You've been to the gym, you've worked hard enough, you've uh, reduced your calories going in, all right, I created an energy deficit to help you out with that um, uh, fat loss. So what did you learn from that? Well, yes, I can do it, I am motivated. I learned that if I put this, this, and this in place, I can achieve my goal. How does that make you feel? Bloody fantastic, I bet. And it's gonna make you feel even more motivated to push forwards, okay? So I, as a coach, want to acknowledge that, and yourself as well, as the client, want to acknowledge and praise yourself, well done, I did that. Maybe reward yourself with something. Doesn't have to be a treat, like a, <laughs> typically a food treat, but necessarily it could be a nice massage, for instance. It could be a nice new shirt or something like that, okay? But hearing praise from someone else is normally uh, quite sufficient. And then once we've uh, reset uh, our new goals, then we want to move on, okay? Well, let's not stop there. Let's crack on. Let's move forwards, okay? What's the new task? Let's go ahead and crack it out. So guys, if you're going ahead completing a task 
or not completing a task, don't be disappointed, don't be disheartened, learn from it, review your goals, crack back on, get back on your feet and keep smashing it out. Guys, I hope that's helped out, keep it real.